All right, so welcome to the live stream, and uh, I'm going to do a live fan reaction, fan request reaction thing with the fucking king, all all American socialist with some Irish Irish flags. Yes, there's gi belts, right? Yes. All I know is he'll beat the shit out of anyone who steps in front, who crosses the line. He draws a thin red line. He says, I dare you to cross it. Then he head kicks you as soon as you touch that fucking line, bro. That's what kings do. The suit, the swag, the hair, the voice, the lingo. 10 out of 10. So here we go. This is... The All-American Socialists. In title of the video, Socialist MMA says black New Yorkers deserve what they get. And uh, Socialist MMA is, he's just some Fred Hampton leftist person. It's whatever. All right, here we go. Here's the king, All-American Socialist. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, comrades of all kinds, thank you for joining me once again. National Socialist MMA putting on a friggin' prime time example of how not to rake in votes, of how not to build a coalition, of how to antagonize other camps, of how to treat people like trash, of how to turn people off. So I'm going to read to you what this goofball had to say, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> like I've said it many times, National Socialist MMA, and I ain't going to stop calling him it. He's a freaking Nick Fuentes Democrat. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. This dude is a total camp antagonist. Oh, damn. Those are harsh words. Let's hear him um, back up his statements from the king. So we're going to... Well, this is bad. This is real bad. So, here he is. <laughs> This is uh, just just recently uh, at Socialist MMA. Nick is a Fred Hampton leftist. I wonder if he'd talk about them like this. Black voters in New York up, would legit be like, yeah, we you just protested up. police violence last summer, but let's go ahead and vote for Eric Adams, a black cop who supports stop and frisk. Low info voting motherfuckers. Y'all deserve what y'all get. Really? <laughs> really? So if this guy starts up stop and frisk again, they deserve it. They deserve to have their rights violated. Is that right? Amazing. Now, let me just say, well, I get what he's saying. The uh, socialist MMA, what he's saying. I, I get what he's saying. Uh, it is incorrect, but I get what he's saying. See, because people are ignorant about whoever, whatever, the candidates or society and like politics in general, if they're ignorant of that. If you're not paying attention, obviously, there's a good chance that shitty things will happen because the creepers will recognize that you're not paying attention or try to get you to not pay attention so they can do all the creepy things behind closed doors and no one fucking cares about it. Or even in your face, people may, may still not care. And that's on... That's on the uh, the citizen, right? They should be paying attention to that. But at the same time, normally, like these non psychopathic type people, they're just saying, like, "Oh, I want to, you know, hang out with my kids or my spouse, or I want to go to the ball game, or I want to just hang out, and talk shit with my friends, on and on and so forth." So it's like they're not they're doing things in a way, correctly. And these other fuckheads, these psychopathic types who don't give a shit about... They don't give a fuck about them, right? They'll take advantage of these fucking people. Those guys are doing nefarious things, uh, you know, outside of their purview. And it's hard to blame the average person that just wants to live a good life or a fun life or a long life or whatever. Right? It's hard to put all that responsibility and burden on them. So, I mean, it's kind of like 
you know, someone who does like a mass shooting and you blame music for it. It's like, uh, okay, I see how they were in, maybe inspired by this. Like they heard something no one else was listening, no one else was hearing, and it led them to start doing something crazy. But it, it's hard. It'd be a difficult task to blame the musician for someone else's actions. Right, so it, it's a the mixture, man. I think deep down in the heart of people, I think they would want to own that responsibility to, to make sure there's no fucking creepers walking around dictating what they sh- what they can and can't do in their lives. Right, I think they would want to pay attention to that because they do it anyways. Right, not on maybe not in politics, but that expression is being expressed somewhere in their lives. I'm very sure of it. Whether it's, like I've talked about before, fucking video games. Like, fucking cheaters. We had to root out the cheaters, man. Or TV show. That character's, that, that character's bad. That character's evil, son. I'm cheering for the good guy. Or wherever. Right in the office, at work. Man, they don't pay us right here. How come I can't, you know... I might have this shitty version of healthcare when there's better ones out there, but because I'm blue collar, my shit is worse. Freak you. On and on and so forth. So, like I said, it's a more complicated scenario. But of, of course, the king's going to explain that. Let's, let's pay attention as the king explains it. Would you rather vote for Curtis Lewa? What's up, Dirtbag? What's up, Matt Mr. Hunter? Uh, Red Beret Man, is that what you want? Yeah, I'm sure you're probably supporting him. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> One of the first responses to this is Cornell West would not approve. Not gonna lie, the way he attacks black voters is gross. I wouldn't tolerate this from white leftists because it's extremely bigoted with a really gross feel. Even if he can get away with it because he is black. And this is from a black person, one of my uh, black comrades on here. Black comrades. Now, this is something I just go back more on the social level. From family to voting, voting demographics and all that shit. It's like, it seems like, well, I'd say the entire country. In, damn near the entire country. With so, like a few exceptions, relatively speaking. It's like, they suck at this voting thing, right? Not that I'm like some yeehaw for voting at all, but it still seems like people suck at it. Seem to have like terrible picks over and over and over and over, over and over and over again. So voters in general suck at voting. They suck at that skill of voting, considering like what they probably want in life, and considering what they vote for, doesn't make sense. So they suck at voting, based on my logic. And then within the the black community, uh, they seem to vote in blocks, almost like a lacking of individuality. Huh. So this is why I this is why I get on people when they start saying something like, "Oh, my people," right? Say, like, "I'm like, who? I don't know you." It's the, it, sorry, Matt Hunter, but it's like the Matt Hunter thing. Like, like Matt Hunter, am I going to give you credit for Beethoven? No. So I'm not, ta- not going to take credit for Michael Jordan. That's his fucking thing. That's his accomplishment. So when we do things where people start, bloat- start voting in blocks like that, like very collectivized, I think to Sarah would call it a mishmash, this, deformed mishmash collectivism as opposed to like a healthy collectivism to where each individual can stand on their own they all happen to be moving in one direction now we're just getting some thought leader over here they're saying this and people follow in line which happens with the the average voter i would say but it's kind of it's way more obvious in the black community it's kind of patently obvious it's like, I don't even think they realize how powerful they are as a voting block. 
Go check out Black Panther. The movie? That mediocre movie? Billions of dollars. Billions of billions of dollars. Now, what if Black said, we don't accept this movie. We don't like it. What if they did that? They're like, we don't accept this movie. It's trash. Oh, I bet a flop happens. A controversy and a flop. <laughs> oh, they like tested it. They tested it before releasing it. They're like, we're not releasing this. They changed the whole fucking movie up. What's up, Rob? So, uh, yeah. I would, I would want, what's his name, Nick? From Socialist MMA? I would want him to explain it in more detail so that you get, the, you get rid of the racial aspect of it. This idea of conditioning. All right? I mean, I, it's, the, the logics, it weirds me out. All right, you're telling me you're not following the group. I'm an individual. Respect me as an individual. And then it's my people in the next fucking sentence. That does not make sense to me from an existential point of view. So I would, I would advise Nick that he start moving, maybe moving or using some of that lingo or that, those concepts. Well, I wouldn't say just use, I'd say learn it. And then it's easy to use. Good luck. All right, here we go. We, here's another response. We are going to continue the legacy of Fred Hampton. Did Fred Hampton say black people deserve what's coming to them because of how they voted? Really? That's what black people des black people deserve to <laughs> be treated like his. shit. <laughs> because they picked totally the lesser of two origin. evils, if you, you will. You know what he mean. Amazing. Amazing. The fucking king. They didn't, make a, they didn't have a, a perfect voting record. And by the way, is every one of this guy's votes coming from black people? So black people are the only people responsible for this guy getting elected. Does every other minority deserve what they get? Do kids deserve what they get? Do disabled people deserve what they get? Do incarcerated people who can't vote deserve what they get? You're a freaking back alley bum. You really are. <laughs> I'll tell you like I've told every other one of these kinds. You a preschool punk. You a sissy. You a mama's boy. I can find guys like you anytime, any place, anywhere, anyhow, any freaking who throughout history. No doubt about it. This is some low rent shit. This is low IQ at best. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. it's, it's fucking brilliant because he doesn't actually say anything. It, he doesn't, he's like literally like nothing there. There's no logical breakdown. There's no like analytical aspect. It's just straight up. Just trust, trust my character. Trust me. <laughs> he's bad. Trust me. Oh, it's brilliant. There you go. Check this out. From a couple months ago. Boy, how times have changed. This was after Michael Flint said that uh, people down in Texas got what they deserved, which I ripped him for, of course. He said, you guys are literally calling for genocide of people of Texas because they didn't vote the way you want. Hmm. Is that what you're doing? Are you calling for genocide of people in New York City because they didn't vote the way you want? Are you voting for their constitutional rights to be freaking destroyed? Are you voting for the continued degradation of the land, of the air, of the water, of the wildlife, of the social system? Are you, are you calling for a little more breakdown, a little more anime, a little more animus, a little more greed, a little more guns, a little more violence? What are Did we he say anime? No big deal, huh? No big deal. Just gonna correct the king real fast. Don't hurt don't hurt don't hurt me, King. Uh, it's anima. Anime is just a bad way of saying anime. <laughs> it's probably spelled the same way. What's up, Stevie? Damn, he he dropped some fucking Jungian psychology on us, bro. Step back. Watch the throne. No big deal. So instead of celebrating the great wins that we got down in Pennsylvania, that we <laughs> just got up in that. New York, <laughs> you go here. Black voters must be stupid, huh? Shame. 
shame, shame on you. Guys, you know what I always say? You know what I always say? This flag is real. Some of these folks, they wouldn't do some things that are so shameful if they weren't a little freaking shameless, and you know that's right. Fred Hampton would most likely not approve. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking king. Alright, so... What I just reacted to was, uh... As you can see, there's nothing there, right? It's just... Uh, all he does, he, he hits record. He doesn't even put graphics on the screen, right? Just fuck it. Puts a suit on, hits record on the camera, and just swags it out. Pause. Just full on, just swagging on motherfuckers. This is what he does. This is his, this is his lane. And uh, he's going to take over the world. It's kind of obvious. And you, you know what's up. 